Hello, everybody. All right, so today we're going to be talking about finding shapes and adding details, and of course, 3D shading along with the pigmentation, which is the color of objects. So that it looks like a has color. It's bending and turning, has lights and darks and curves and bends. And we're going to kind of do a version like my little fish here, only with my zebra, because that's the project I did this time. And I'm going to show you some tricks of the trade. Um, one, I'll be using a HB pencil, which is a number two, and I'll be working with an ebony because it's a soft drawing pencil, uh, which you need to have a 4B, a 5B, 6B, 7B, 8B, a big B, so that it will color nice and dark and of course you need to be looking at your object not mine look at your object and I'm gonna do a little mini version not the whole thing because it takes a while and I'm going to show you how to refine the shapes and add the details so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be looking really closely at my object I'm gonna draw while looking at the paper I might do a little mixture of modified and sketching what I'm gonna be doing is adjusting the shapes adding correct details because there's no details in the basic layout, I'm gonna start adding some of the coloring, the lights and darks and bends and turns to create the highlights and shadows and the curves of the object. Remember, it kinda of ends up looking like a black and white photograph. You wanna have good contrast, you don't wanna smear it, and I'll be talking about some of that, and I'll be drawing for a, a little bit. I won't finish the whole thing, otherwise we'll be here way too long. Um, for that and I'll also show you how to avoid some smudges all right all right so let's go for a ride oops boom here we go okay so I don't know if you can see my object or not but I have them here I'm looking at it, I have a piece of computer paper to show you what we're gonna do to, and I just broke my pencil, avoid smearing. Because what happens is when you're drawing, and you touch the paper, it's on my hand, it gets on other faces, so now there's a smear and I've gotten rid of the lights, it's, it smears. So you wanna kinda be um, careful with that. While you're working and carefully not to hit the tripod okay so I'm gonna start looking and I'm visualizing looking at mr. zebra here while I'm drawing and make sure I'm in visual mode and what I'm doing is I'm looking at the actual shapes now I may be doing some erasing and some adjusting. I still want to draw it light because right now I'm refining shapes. I may have to do some adjusting later. also want to make sure I'm looking at it, the object from the same angle. I don't want to be moving my head side to side and trying to see a view that I can't see. You need to look at, at it from one position. I 
the entire time. city. I'm drawing, buddy. Of course, he wants attention now, but it's you guys. And I want to make sure that I am visualizing and not thinking. And I'm still wanting to draw light because I may have to adjust some things. I have little Sid's head in the background bobbing up and down at me and I'm trying to draw. <laughs> He's in my view being a little stinker but wanting attention. So you can see how I'm kind of adding some of the uh, the details What's happening is some of my old drawings I can erase after I draw them because I'm not going to need it. Oops. I'm looking how parts relate to other parts while I'm doing this. And of course I could keep refining and adding shapes and going and going and going until I have my whole object done. That's an option. Or you can go back in while you're working. and um, 3D shade at the same time. But I'm gonna try and get some shading in for you too. Luckily he's kinda got sections so I can stop. So let me grab my ebony pencil. I'm going to start doing some 3D shading. Now, what you want to focus on is where the objects are bending and curved. Anytime there's a curve, something that's under something, if it's curving this way or that way, there's going to show some shadow for the bends and turns. You need to know where your light source is coming from, what areas are going to be lighter than others. <clears throat> 
and start setting that up. And sometimes what I'll do, if I know something is going to be curving, I'll start to add that shadow there. Make sure I get a little, then I know I'm gonna have curve. So I know I'm gonna have shadow here because the head is in front of the neck. Now what he has is some dark grooves in between his color changes because he's ceramic, he actually has some shape there. So I'm getting some of those in. And my pencil broke, of course. All right, sorry about that. What am I doing is I'm looking back and forth for my object. And I'm getting some of these, he's got these dark lines. So I'm getting some of those in before I do the shading because it's actually uh, dips in and it's painted. Get some of the curves of his head here, also where his stripes are changing colors. And where he's creating a shadow on his little body right here from the head.
See, I'm starting to get a little curve of the snout there. Get a little curve where this shadow's bending. So I'm going to get some, <clears throat> I'm going to shade against the belly. So what I'm going to do is see, like, I take my paper, when I get up to the areas that are other, already shaded, and I'm a lefty, so yours would probably be on the other side. So that, I put it here, so I can rest my hand on it without smearing the head. But you also don't want this paper moving. And I'm going to get some of his curves. See, I'm setting them up already. And it's also got a bend on his shapes because they're actually curving out of his body. And this stripe has a little more color, so I want to get some of that darker gray. To show that it's a darker stripe. Now what you want to do is slowly get darker. You could always go darker, but it's hard to go back to a light value again. You see how he's slowly coming along. And it takes this is gonna what takes the longest time. And it's okay to slowly get darker. I don't want to get too dark on his lighter stripes, but I do want to show that they are bending and turning. And also drawings that don't exist anymore. As I go, I can erase those. You don't want to be afraid to uh Get rid of stuff that doesn't belong anymore. A lot of times I'll tap. You want to be careful that you don't smear your picture when you go back and race. And if you want to do lighter areas, you can use 
go in with the HB and set up some lighter areas first if you're afraid of getting too dark too fast. And normally I would have already had all of his stripes set up. For example, I would have the curve going here, the curve going here for the shape, so that I have multiple directions going to create the curves of these actual bands. See how this is curving this way, curving that way, but then the whole shape is curving this way. So I want to include both of them. So sometimes I will set up shadows, spots where they belong, <clears throat> before I do all of the shading, just so that I remember it in my pencils. I'm having bad luck with my pencil nuts. Sharpening. Okay, so that's kind of how you go back and refine shapes and add details, and I could keep going and going and going, but uh, he, uh, we would be here forever. So you want to make sure you know where your light source is going. Transition the values from light to dark or dark to light. Look at where they're curving with the object. Make sure you're visualizing and looking at the object while you're adding the details. And I would have actually kept going and going and adding all my zebra stripes on first with the dark borders and then gone back because then I could go over top stuff and add the shadow. Okay, and again, if you're gonna use the paper, remember, hold it still. If the paper starts moving, your whole drawing underneath will smear, so you wanna be careful. So that if, for this technique, we are using all of our right brain. Visualizing, I do a little mixture of, you know, I'm looking at the object, looking at my paper, looking at the object, looking at my paper. I am looking at the paper while drawing so I know where I go. And what you want to watch out, if you start pulling out that eraser, not to uh, adjust shapes that are no longer there, but to, to fix it and fix it and fix it, you have probably started thinking. So you want to make sure that you are visualizing at all time, looking at what you're drawing. And you also want to feel it. Where are the bends and turns? Because some of the what the light is showing isn't going to show you all the stuff because we're not doing it in color. And you want to show that this is curving down. This is underneath. This has a curve here. And you also want to show the different colors. Where are the lights and darks? Where are the pigmentations on your object? And you will slowly, slowly build it up. Okay? All right, and I can't wait to see how you do. Again, if you want, go and refine and add all the details first and then 3D shade it later. Um, that's what I did on my other paper because I wanted to set up all his stripes, so it's kind of a how you feel thing. And then I went in and refined shapes even further and 3D shaded and added the pigmentation all at once. But I had his basic, all his little stripies set up because they have such strong dark there so that I would be able to get the actual 3D shapes that are on his, that are on his, um, see right here how he's got a curve? Here he's curving. It was a little easier with bigger because I had more room to do it. Um, but I had all these shapes set up ahead of time and had the dark roofs because it's the paint. So then I could actually show how these shapes were bending in themselves in different directions. So you can see how his rump's curving this way, curving this way. This is darker because it's his underbelly. This has some shading because it's curving. So here's the shadow on his neck, shadow on the different colors, which was a little easier than me trying to draw real tiny. But this is gonna take a lot of your time. You wanna make sure that you are visualizing not smearing your drawing because that's a big thing that is a getting used to it make sure that you're not going over top and if you use a paper make sure it holds still if it starts scrubbing like this you will have a smeary mess underneath all right okay happy refining shapes and added details and 3d shading and coloring and they are going to be awesome